Hello everyone. This is Dr. Nirmala from the Wellberry. Today we are going to talk about something that many of us enjoy first thing in the morning, our first cup of coffee. And being a South Indian, I'm so used to it being strong and being made with whole milk. At least that's how I used to have it earlier. Please remember that all dietary and lifestyle changes should be made only after consulting with either your physician or a dietary specialist. Like I've explained in my previous videos, all of you know by now that I was insulin resistant. And this insulin resistance was the reason that my weight was so stubborn and would not come down no matter what I tried. Also, in my 40s, I ended up being diabetic and having high cholesterol. The high cholesterol, of course, was there for the longest time. Once I realized that I was insulin resistant, it was also time for me to think differently about my food. The way I cooked, the way I perceived food, all of that had to change. If you remember my video on insulin resistance, I have explained that sugars, highly starchy foods, refined carbohydrates, these worsen insulin resistance. Insulin, which is supposed to push glucose into our cells so that our cells have energy, when the insulin is not working properly, what happens is that the glucose gets absorbed by our fat cells and the fat cells expand, causing obesity. Milk has a natural sugar called lactose. Just like other naturally occurring sugars, lactose too causes an insulin spike in our body when we consume it. For years before this, I used to go to sleep having only a cup of milk, thinking that milk is low calorie, and it is a whole food. What I didn't realize is that every time I drank milk, insulin was being released in the body, lactose was being absorbed by the fat cells and it was just making my problem worse. In addition, what used to happen is that in the mornings I used to have one of these diet cereals and add milk to that. Again, what was happening? Insulin was being released insulin wasn't doing what it's supposed to do and every bit of food that I was eating was just getting stored up as fat and later on it led to diabetes and high cholesterol but having black coffee alone in the morning really wasn't a choice that I was happy with I tried the bulletproof coffee as well which is with butter or ghee or even MCT oil was nice, but it's still not like a good cup of coffee with whole milk. Finally, I started trying different kinds of low carbohydrate milk until I realized that a coconut latte is something that I really enjoy and I don't miss my milk coffee anymore. So why coconut latte? Because instead of milk, I use either coconut milk or coconut cream. Coconut cream has more fat in it than sugars, so the insulin doesn't spike. In addition, I use either coconut oil or butter. Now studies have shown that coconut oil improves satiety, means we feel better and full in our tummies after we consume something made with coconut oil. There are also studies that have compared weight loss in women who have taken coconut oil versus women who have taken other forms of oil like soya bean oil. The women who were given coconut oil in fact lost more inches around their waist, their cholesterol levels came down and so did some of the inflammatory markers. Now I have put down links to some of these studies in the description area below. Apart from this, I use instant coffee. Now, there is a lot of debate on how good coffee is for a person's health. In my case, I literally went yay when I found out that coffee could actually bring down insulin resistance because of the interaction that it has with some of the chemicals in our body. Now, for some people, that's not true. Coffee may actually worsen insulin resistance. Each person's body is different. Once I figured out the perfect coconut latte, it was really something that helped me through my initial days when I was missing sugar, when I was missing all my favorite comfort foods. Now I limit myself to two cups of coffee in a day. It helps me feel satisfied 
I don't have too much cravings because the fat in the coffee keeps me full and more than all that I relish my cup of coffee. If you're not particularly fond of coconut cream or coconut milk and you don't like the taste of coconut then you can substitute the coconut cream with heavy cream. You can also use butter instead of coconut oil. Many of you have been asking me to post recipes so I said let me start with this. It's simple, it's got just three ingredients and it takes maximum five to ten minutes of your time in the morning. I hope you do try out this recipe for yourself and I look forward to hearing your comments. If these videos have been helping you, then do click on like and subscribe because that encourages me to keep putting out more videos. Until next time, this is Dr. Nirmala signing out and remember, wellness begins with your plate.